Hi world, Teddy Dad one back with you. Um, I want to show you how I was able to make one of my best swords. Um, well, I didn't make it. I just um, improved on it greatly after the handle broke because it wasn't a full tang handle. Um, let me show you what I done. This is the uh, this is the sword here. And it was just a, you know, it was just a cheap little flea market sword. Let's see, I probably need to get some light on the situation here, maybe. Maybe not. But, um, I can use this sword to chop wood with. Now. I put me some notches in it just to, um, you know, and some engravings on it. just, you know, to make it more personal, personable, or whatever you want to call it. But, um, went up to the local welding shop, and one of the things that you'll learn, if you will, go up to any, you don't have to find any specific metal working shop, go up to any place where you know a mechanic who does work with a welder and what I did here is I took a piece of pipe um, a piece of metal iron pipe and I beat the hilt down there to where it was flat And I made me a little handle for one side, cut off the other side so it doesn't, you know, doesn't doesn't mess with anything there. But you know, made some engravings on it, made it made it personal, you know, made it personable. put my mark on it um, where have I got it here this light might not be helping any but um, anyway It declares my my faith, my belief, did this with a Dremel tool. don't know if you can read it or not but it says sunbeam of Christ because we're all sunbeams of Christ But I can chop wood with this sword. I can put this sword through the most stringent of things. And it has not failed me yet. But I've got our Savior's name right there on it. 
But that's my, uh, that's my sword. Or that's, hmm, I should say, that's one of them. But it's one of my best ones. I can sharpen it really good. It's a double-edged sword. And it was cheap to buy. I mean, I bought it at like a flea market for, you know, 30 bucks or something like that. And it's turned out to be a good a good sword, a good blade. Anyway, don't throw away your swords if it breaks. Don't throw it away. Go find somebody who can uh, who can weld and weld that thing together how you want it. Make your make you a new handle from it. Make the uh, make it a weapon of your design. Don't throw it away because you can use it more and more. <laughs> it's just I I don't know why I'm sharing this with you. I just kind of wanted to. Anyway, it's J Dad One. Love y'all. Hope you're doing well. And um, I know that we're all going to make it through whatever whatever happens. As long as we have. faith and don't falter don't trust men have friends but don't trust men we fight against principalities of darkness and deceit not against flesh and blood and you all know that anyway like I said I hope everyone's doing good and uh, had a good holiday this is Chatty Dad One. God bless. Good luck. Never give up your guns, or else we will be left defending ourselves and our family with this. And uh, although I'm going to have this alongside my firearm as a tool, not of a tool of destruction, but you can use. I can use that to plow a field just as good as I can to cut a tree down or do whatever I need to do. Hope everybody's well. Love and appreciate you guys. Uh, doing these things for you helps me out a lot. And, you know, just my day-to-day -day stuff. I mean, I, I have a lot of stuff to do anyway. But uh, I enjoy I enjoy sharing things with you guys. I really do. Anyway, enough of all that. I've blabbed on enough. This is Chatty Dad 1. God bless. Good luck to us all. Use your rights. So we don't lose them for good. And have hope. Never give up hope. Because it can't rain every day. It can't be a bad day every day. Mama said there'd be days like this. That's a good song. Anyway, over and out. Chad Jad one, over and out.